Yes, sir. How you doing? Doing great. Well, we're going to kick things off. Uh, first up is Ivan Mazel. Ivan. Sorry, I had to hit on mute. How you doing, Bill? I'm doing good, Ivan. How you doing? Great. Uh, just as a general rule of thumb with a rematch, I mean, you've had a lot of experience with those in the NFL. Where, where do you start from scratch? Do you start from where the last game left off? How do you, how do you deal with all that information that you got from the last game? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I think you, you, um, you have to do a little bit of both. You have to go back to uh, the drawing board, so to speak. You got to start from scratch. You have to look at the last game. You got to go back and review the whole season your season, their season, uh, it's a long week. You know, they have a great defense, um, you know, uh, uh, almost like a generational defense. You know, they, they, they have amazing stats and they, they, they play hard, they play good. They got a lot of great players, great coaches on that side of the ball. Um, and so it's gonna be a challenge for us. Next will be Nick Kelly. Nick, you're up. We'll go next to Nick Kelly. Hey, Bill. Uh, if teams decide to double Jamison or bring extra coverage to his side, like what can you do as a coordinator to free him up or make sure he gets opportunities? Uh, I think that's a great question. You know, we're we're uh, we're always finding ways to get all of our guys the ball. Um, you know, our guys are really smart. You can move them around. You can do a lot of different things with them. Um, but schematically, I'll probably try to stay above the fray here in this Zoom session. But, uh, no, I, you know, I think all of our guys are really capable and they're excited about the opportunity and we're excited uh, for Monday night. Next, we'll go to Dennis Dodd. Dennis, you're up. Hey, Bill. Um, I wonder how the experience has been just coming back to college and Calling plays at a top program, you've got a, a Heisman winner on your record now. What, what's a self scout on Bill O'Brien this year? Uh, it's been a great experience, Dennis. It's uh, it's been awesome. I have a lot of uh, great kids to coach. They're hardworking. They love football. Great teammates. The coaching staff here, you know, led by Coach Saban, is a one of the best coaching staffs I've ever been a part of. And that says a lot because I've been a part of a lot of good coaching staffs. I've been fortunate that way. And uh, and it's just been fun. It's been a lot of fun to coach a guy like Bryce and, and the rest of the guys on offense, uh, work with the offensive staff. I can't say enough about this program. And, you know, I've said it time and time again, you know, uh, how grateful I am to have this opportunity to be here and and to try to do my part to help this team win. Next, we'll hear from Carrie Osep. Carrie, you're up. Hey, Coach. Thanks for taking the time. On yeah, top thanks. of that, to piggyback on that question, what has been your biggest learning lesson with this time then with Nick Saban? Something that, you know, you have a long coaching career yourself, but what's something you're going to take away from this experience that's been new? Yeah, I've learned a ton. I've, I've learned a lot from Coach Saban, um, you, you know, not only obviously schematically, but also how he runs a program. Um, you know, the organization of it, uh, the detail of it, the work ethic that goes into it, the discipline, the regimen, um, you know, he's an amazing guy. I mean, he's a guy that uh, is the same guy every day. He's a very hardworking guy, very disciplined guy, loves football. And uh, I've learned a lot from him. And, and um, you know, I, like you said, I, I've, I've had a, a career, you know, a, a, career, a career of a lot of years, I've been fortunate to work for a lot of great guys and with a lot of great guys, and and uh, this has been a great experience for me. Next will be Michael Casagrande. Michael, you're up. All right, we'll go to Michael Casagrande. Yeah, uh, against Georgia the first time they got to Bryce, I think they hurried him eight times in the pocket but didn't get a sack. What makes him so effective in those open field situations? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, I don't know. That's an interesting stat because when I watch the film, I, I see it a lot more than that. I mean, they've got a great front. We've got to do a good job against that front. I think Bryce does a really good job of of understanding and processing, but uh, it's a whole different ball game on Monday night. So it's a it's a tremendous challenge. You know, Coach Smart, um, Coach Lanning, Coach Muschamp, those guys are are um, 
you know, at the top of their game when it comes to defensive coaching, and then they have the players that, that can make it happen. So we've got a big challenge. We're excited about it. We're practicing hard. Our guys always practice hard. That's that. That's the way this program's been built. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be there Monday night, but it's going to be a tremendous uh, challenge for us. All right. <clears throat> Next will be John Zenor. John, you're up. Uh, Bill, as an old NFL guy, when you guys got Jameis Williams, did you feel like you kind of hit the free agency jackpot in terms of filling a need with, with a guy who's obviously done what he's done? Yeah, you know, it, it is similar to uh, free agency, but without the rules, to be honest with you. Uh, there are some rules in college, but, you know, the, the, the portal is an interesting deal, and I'll stay away from that. I'll let Coach Saban handle that. But, but when we were able to, uh, you know, bring Jamison into our program, you know, he, he was a, a guy that came in right away and, and wasn't in spring practice and, and started with us in the summer and, and just really did a great job of learning our offense and hit the ground running. I think Bryce, the rest of the offensive guys did a great job with him, helping him out, John Mechie, um, you know, all those guys that play receiver out there that have been here and, and they did a great job and he, he picked it up fast and he obviously he's been a huge part of our, our success. Next, we will go to Mike Rodak. Mike? Bill, just what's been your approach in, in your process, if your name has come up these past couple of weeks for other college jobs, your NFL jobs, just deciding whether there's mutual interest in your part? That, you know, it's one of those things that happens all the time. You know, it's, it's part, of the, part of the career, part of uh, what you sign up for. I don't, you know, my, my, my focus has always been on the task at hand, and that's just the way I operate. Um, you know, I just think that uh, this is a great opportunity for this program. And, uh, you know, we, we've put so much work into this that and, and really, like, if you're here, if, you, if you're able to follow us around for a week, that your focus is completely on, on Georgia and your team and what you have to do to try to help do your part to help your team win. So uh, that's what the focus is. All right, next will be Michael DeCourcy. Yes, Bill, uh, you've been around some tremendous receivers in, in the career you mentioned. Um, what makes Jamison special, and are there qualities from guys like Hopkins and some others that, you know, is there any, are there any similarities uh, with him to some of the great uh, receivers you've coached in your time? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I've been very fortunate. I, I've, I've coached a ton of great receivers. Um, and, and Jamison, relative to the stage of the career that he's at, you know, being a college player right now and having a chance probably to, to play pro football, he's got great speed. He's an excellent route runner, and he's a very competitive guy. He's a very instinctive player. He's a very smart player. Um, and, and I can't say enough about his competitiveness. He, he's, a, he's a player that goes out and, uh, and practices every day like it's a game. And so I, I think that's something that – the great ones have those traits. Everybody's a little bit different. You know, everybody's built differently. Everybody has different, you know, skill sets, different speed, things like that. Uh, but the, the best ones that I've been around and Jamison's in that category, um, you know, they all have that competitive spirit that's really hard to, hard to find sometimes. All right. Our next question will be from Charlie Potter. Charlie? Yeah, hey, Coach. Sticking with the receivers, you know, before the Cincinnati game, you talked about the loss of John Mechie. Just how have you seen a guy like Ja'Cory Brooks step up, and, and how has he kind of done that over the course of the season? Yeah, Ja'Cory is a very impressive young player. Uh, he's got really good size. He's got a really good work ethic. He's a, a very serious guy. He takes his, his game very seriously. He tries to work every single day to get better. I think it's really hard to play receiver at, at a young age at, at this level and at the next level. And, uh, you know, he's doing it really well at this level. He's getting better every day because of his work ethic. So uh, Ja'Cory has really come up big for us. You know, he's come up big for us with some big catches, you know, over the last, you know, few games. And that's that's been important for our team. All right, next we will go to Ralph Russo. Ralph? Hey, Bill, how are you? Hey, Ralph. When you get to Alabama, you've been around a lot of good programs, um, uh, college programs, but when you get to Alabama, does it at all uh, 
take you aback a bit when you see how much talent there is available to you. I mean, compared to some of the other places where, again, you've been around good programs. Do you really get to appreciate how much talent is at Alabama until you've actually seen it like you have? I definitely think you 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 see it firsthand. You notice it right away, and and you also you know when we got here, uh, there there was a, a number of guys on last year's team. When you put the film on, that uh, you know offensively, you know were first round draft picks, um, six or seven of them. You know I think they said Landon Dickerson was a second rounder, but you know probably if he wasn't injured, he he, he probably would have been a first rounder. So, you know, with that being said, to be able to 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 have the the depth. Um, and the ability to come back with with some really good players at at a lot of different positions says a lot about Coach Saban, his organization relative to uh, recruiting. I mean, it's every single day. It's 365 days a, a year that that he recruits, that we all recruit, and he leads it. And I think that's what it's about in college football is developing a relationship with the player and his family, and and showing them what you're all about and. Uh, it's just been a really cool experience to see that, but that's really what it's about. It's a relentless approach to recruiting, not just a relentless approach to football coaching. And, you know, that's what Coach Saban has done here. And, and uh, it's, it's been uh, proven and it's, it's been awesome. All right, our next question is from Daniel Tortora. Daniel, you're up. Coach, just what you can say about, you know, you, you had the unique experience of having worked with Bill Belichick and Nick Saban, arguably two of the greatest ever. Just what you can say about what makes them similar and maybe some of the differences that they've had with you working with them. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a question, you know, that's an obvious question I get a lot. And I, I actually enjoy the question because I take a lot of pride in the fact that I've been able to work for both guys. I mean, I've learned so much from both guys and you said it. You know, these are two of the best to ever do it. Um, and they're they're both very similar in, in, in some of their philosophical uh, beliefs, you know, hard work, good teammates, uh, trustworthy people around them, um, you know, uncovering every every stone to, to try to find out, you know, what we can do to try to get an edge in a game or, you know, the way we practice, things like that. And then they're two very different people. And that's just the way that that's just the way it is. And uh and I think that's what's pretty cool is the, the fact that uh, I've had a chance to be around both of them and work for both of them. And uh, it's something that uh, I'm very grateful for and I'm, I'm very proud of. Coach, we thank you for your time here today. We look forward to seeing you in Indianapolis.